Here we are in the kitchen with O'Day. I'm O'Day, this is the kitchen. We're gonna cook banana pancakes, like the Jack Johnson song. I found them on some alkaline diet Jamaican cooking show that I was watching on YouTube well, very late at night. The only two ingredients are cooking bananas, and apparently they're supposed to be black, black, black. There's nothing too black, because that's when they have all the flavor, that's when they're mushy. So when you have a yellow banana and it's starting to go brown, and you think, mm, fuck, I need to throw that out. Wrong, wait till it's black and then make pancakes with it. We're gonna show you how to do it, except I've never done it before. All right, so what do I do first? I'm just going off the top. I'm just remembering this YouTube video. No recipe this time. Put some bananas in a bowl. I mean, these feel gross. I've put three in so far, but it doesn't seem like a lot. This one is like, honestly, fossilizing. So instead of eggs, the other key ingredient for this will be, well, I'll, I'll maybe I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, it's all on me. Oh, I know what happened. They blended it on the show. Should I do that? So I'm gonna blend it up. What we need in here is like a tea towel so I can actually dry my hands. There we go. Now we're gonna blend up this banana. What the fuck? Fucking hot breakdown over here. Where is... Ah, here we go. Fuck was that in there? That seems to be really working. Now, this is the crazy part of the recipe. So this lady was talking about something called aquafaba. I've never heard of that in my life. Aquafaba is the oil that they put beans in, like chickpeas, legumes. You can like whisk it up apparently. You can whisk it up and turn it into like egg replacer for vegans. This is a can of chickpeas. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it. I mean, this is fluffing up. And I gotta be honest, it still smells like chickpeas. I mean, like, it's thickening. I can feel it thickening up. Do you remember what it used to look like? Look what we're doing! Very fuck, this is a good cooking show. It's like, it feels like it's got so much bigger as well. Like, it's like, it's expanding. You wanna have a go? This is what I've done. I've whisked it all the way from beginning to end. That's what we've done. I'm, I'm like on top of the world. It's deep. It's amazing. So now I suppose we put the banana in. So you're folding it through. You're folding the banana through. It's not whisking it. Gotta go slow. Looks like syrup already. We'll put in some flour. So we're gonna put in some flour. You don't even need flour, apparently, according to the Jamaican lady on YouTube. I'm just doing this. I don't need lots. At the moment, it's still very fluffy, like maybe too fluffy. That's good. You reckon that's good? Yeah, fluffy makes it good. You want it to be fluffy? We'll edit this out, won't we? Whoa. All right, so we're gonna put butter on this thing. That's a boatload. Sizzling! Now we're gonna put this on. Shit, that's big. People say the first pancake never works out. We'll see about that. Ah, it's too fucking bubbly, Clancy. You should let me put in more flour. All right, fuck, I've got it on too hot. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, oh! Yeah, low heat. I put it on too high, keep it on low heat. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I do need to add more flour. Fucking hell, man. What we really needed was more banana and less of the aquafaba. But we were experimenting. We didn't understand that aquafaba was even a real thing. You know, so this is what we do on this show. We experiment, we break new ground. And then so by the time you go to cook this, you go, I know how to do this shit, man. I saw, I saw what not to do. Meanwhile, looks like a little man with an arm, don't you think? He's the mascot from now on, the pancake man. That's thicker. You know, I should have trusted my instinct. Trust your instinct. I should have never listened to you, Clancy. And I never will again. There we go. 
This one's a little one. We're being a little bit less ambitious. Once you see the bubble, it's time to flip it. All right, sir. So. Oh! Don't blow it, don't blow it, don't blow it. I fucking did it. Look at that. All right, we're gonna garnish this motherfucker with fresh banana. This one's good to go. I'm gonna do a little pattern. This is what you get if you're my wife. That's kind of cute. If like an eight year old did it, it would be cute. I'm cooking it. I don't know why I did this strawberry banana presentation. I think you told me to. Is that what happened? Nah, that's all your intuition. <laughs> we have some maple syrup. We're gonna save it with some maple syrup. See if we can do like a pretty drizzle, you know? No. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. <laughs> as much as I've been like paying myself out about uh, this presentation, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. And the pancake looks good, and I'm gonna cut it open just so you guys can see the fluff level. Cut a little bit off, stab a strawberry and banana, stab the pancake. Having a jolly time, and I am having a jolly time. You could probably do it yourself. Let me know if you do do it, send me pics, all that. I'll be here enjoying another beautiful Charlie Conklin's recipe. Mm -hmm.